One of the findings of the Victoria Foundation's Vital Signs Survey is the importance of building a caring community. And that's exactly what's happening in the Cowichan Valley, one meal at a time. Veronica Cooper explains. They're going to be grated. They're going to go on the waffles as well. The kitchen at Zanata Winery is hopping. But it's not to feed customers. These volunteers are feeding elementary school children. I don't have children. I was not aware how large the problem was. Whoa, look at that. It was one year ago that De Silva learned about hungry school children in her community. Teachers have been spending money out of their own pockets um, to bring bread and fruit. But it shouldn't be a teacher's job. Their job is to teach. It should be our job as a community to provide for those children. De Silva offered the kitchen. Volunteers stepped up to donate food or money, to create meals, to deliver them to schools, and Nourish Cowichan was born. It's bringing people together that I have never thought that we'll be working together from small business, producers, farmers, people calling us to go uh, to their backyards and little farms and pick up whatever is left, uh, zucchinis, anything. I'm a cook already and so it just seemed like a natural. You know, I've got grown kids and I'm, I've been aware of what it's like in the schools for kids who don't have as much as they should. So this will be for the muffins. We started the trials in February. By May, we're already in four schools. So the problem was much bigger than we thought. Anita Carroll places Vancouver Island University nursing students into schools. So you'd see some children having a hard time sitting in their seats and paying attention and you know looking at some of the kids that they were hungry, right? And I've seen a difference now going back in with the nursing students, seeing, getting some of this nutrition into their bellies. We started out with thinking we were going to do about 40 kids and we're doing over 900 meals a week right now. De Silva is grateful that this need is now out in the open. Poverty brings a lot of shame in people. They don't want to talk about it. It's something that you don't tell your family, you don't tell your neighbors, you just keep to yourself. For me, the most important part is that we brought that conversation to the table. Click on our website right. links tab to help nourish Cowichan. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.